Question number 24. The equation of a curve is given as y is equals to a third x cubed minus a half x squared minus 2x minus a third. Uh, part A. Find the value of y. Uh, part a, Roman number 1. The value of y when x is minus 2. <coughs> Excuse me. So what you do here is... Uh, you just substitute minus 2 in place of x in our equation so you say y is equals to a third instead of x cubed you substitute minus 2 then you say minus a half uh, then multiply by minus 2 squared uh, minus 2x uh, that not 2x but 2 you multiply by minus 2 minus a third by third so this is equals to this is a uh, cubed uh, two minus two cubed is minus eight you divide by three uh, minus this is four uh, so minus two squared is four four times a half is two and uh, then you have minus minus two multiplied by minus two that will give you positive four and finally we have a third so minus uh, this is equals to uh, this is minus two and a third uh, minus two plus four that will give us plus two and a third uh, and uh, two that is uh, and minus a third so my two that's plus a uh, minus 2 and a third plus minus a third that will give you minus 3 implying this is equals to minus 3 plus 1 uh, plus 2 not 1 plus 2 and that should give you minus 1 so that is the value so it, this implies that y is equals to minus 1 when x is equals to minus 2 so that you get 2 marks <laughs> Roman number 2, the equation of a tangent to the curve at x is equal to minus 2. So that means that uh, if we say this is a uh, minus 2 and we say that is a uh, that is our that is our our graph or our function we need to get this is the tangent uh, the, the, the line touching the, ta the, the curve at x is equal to minus 2. And to be able to do that, first of all, you need to get the gradient function. So we say dy over dx is equals to, we differentiate it. You multiply 3 times uh, a third, that will give us it, it, it x squared. And then you multiply 2 here, that will give us minus, uh, minus, that is 2 will cancel, that will give us x and uh, here we will get minus 2 uh, so the this is a gradient function so at x is equals to minus 2 then we uh, gradient which is dy over dx you substitute uh, 2 in place of x is equals to uh, 2 minus 2 uh, squared uh, minus 2 uh, that is uh, minus uh, minus 2 and then we have minus 2 so that is uh, we'll be able to get this is 4 a minus and minus will give you positive 2 minus 2 and this means that <coughs> this is equals to 4 so the gradient uh, that the gradient is 4 uh, with the gradient and uh, we know at x we can be able to find uh, uh, so we need to find uh, th so the gradient is equals to 4 uh, so at x is equals to 4 uh, x is equals to at x is equals to minus 2 what is the value of y so we already found uh, the value of, of y is uh, minus 1 in normal number 1 so we can actually get the coordinates here uh, we have the gradient uh, gradient is equals to is equals to 4 and uh, a point which is we have minus 2 
and uh, minus 1 so that is the point that we are going to use so we say y minus minus 1 that will be minus positive 1 divided by x minus minus 2 that will be positive 2 is equals to 4 uh, this implies that uh, y plus 1 is equals to you multiply here this is 4x uh, plus 8 this is 2 times 4 uh, y is it we can say as we use this one uh, we say y we take one to the other side becomes negative so you'll be able to find the equation is 4x and we have plus 7 8 minus 1 is 7 so that is you'll be able to get 4 marks <laughs> okay looking at part b determine the coordinates of the turning point of the curve the turning point uh, if we have this is our curve this is a turning point the gradient at the turning point is zero so it means that uh, since we have the gradient function x minus x squared minus x minus uh, that is minus 2 is equal to zero we can solve this equation and say uh, we will be able to say this is a uh, uh, x squared minus uh, this is a 2x minus plus x uh, minus 2 is equals to 0 we multiply by equation so we factor out <coughs> x we have x minus 2 and we have uh, we have uh, plus 1 we factor out 1 here you have x minus 2 so we have x plus 1 and uh, x uh, minus 2 is equals to 0 uh, so x is equals to minus 1 or x is equals to 2 uh, so what we do is uh, we now uh, substitute we now substitute and say uh, what is the value of uh, y when x is from the point that we have obtained so when x is equals to uh, minus 1 then we substitute y is equals to uh, we have our function here we substitute 1 so it is uh, that you multiply by minus 1 cubed then we have minus a half multiply by uh, minus 1 uh, squared uh, then we have minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 uh, minus a third uh, so if you compute that you'll be able to get uh, uh, you compute that uh, you should be able to get uh, you should be able this is a uh, minus a third uh, this is a uh, 1 minus a half uh, this is a uh, plus 2 uh, uh, then we have minus this is uh, the last one is a third here it's a third uh, so it should be the last value here is a third uh, so that's a third so minus a third and uh, you can compute that you'll be able to find it is 5 over 5 over 6 so 5 over 6 it means the coordinate when x is 1 the turning point is minus 1 and 5 over 6 uh, again we now look at uh, x is equals to uh, we have said it is 2 so you find y is equals to a third uh, you multiply by 2 cubed and uh, then you say minus a half multiply by 2 squared minus 2 times 2 times 2 uh, minus a third you compute that uh, this will give you a third uh, that should be uh, that should give you a third uh, uh -huh. uh, well, not a third but actually uh, it is 8 over 3 uh, a, a y is equals to 8 over 3 uh, then we have minus this will give you 2 because of 4 minus 2 uh, then we have this will give you minus 4 and this will give you uh, 
then a third that will give you when you compute that you get minus 3 and 2 over 3 so the other turning point is uh, the other turning point is uh, 2 and 3 and 2 thirds so that is a turning point the turning point here means uh, if, uh, so th what it means is that since this is a cubic graph uh, therefore it, it is a, a graph that looks like that uh, so this may be the, just an example this is uh, y and this is x so it has two turning points that's why we are getting one turning point is uh, a 1 minus 1 and 5 over 6 and the other turning point is 2 uh, and the value of <coughs> x is 2 and the value of y is 2 and 2 that's so that's how you work out that question and uh, you should be one if you do it like that then you should be able to uh to get the uh, the 10 marks now something to note here this you did in form 4 uh that is in differentiation so you you are being tested whether you understand uh, the gradient function a gradient function uh, you get it by differentiating so you should be comfortable differentiating a function uh, from there uh, you are also being tested whether you understand the relationship between the gradient and the gradient uh, function how do you get uh, the gradient give if you have the gradient function and one point uh, lastly part B uh, you are being tested whether you understand the turning points of a, 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 a curve or a function and how to get the turning points so that is what you are being tested and you did that in form 4 in the topic known as differentiation